Now, the rest of the story. Bill and Letty were good neighbors. Their dog, a black Labrador retriever named Flash, was a good dog. But then one day, Flash started, well, stealing. And suddenly, the quiet, decent lives of this quiet, decent Louisiana family were troubled as never before. The first item with which Flash absconded from somewhere or other was a plain old baseball glove. A first baseman's glove, Bill explained to Letty. Thinner and more flexible than a catcher's mitt, but without the finger separations and other baseball gloves. But anyway, the glove must be returned to its owner, who was doubtless much missing it. No problem, surely. Since it was a lefty and regulation size, Bill asked friends nearby if they knew of a mostly grown left-handed boy whose it might be, but no, they didn't. So the couple took out an ad in the local paper, found one left-handed first baseman's baseball glove, well broken in, call us, but no one called. So Bill and Letty gave them it to their four-year-old as a plaything and pretty much forgot about it. Until Flash, the black lab, evidently returned to the scene of his crime. For weeks later, he showed up at the back door with another baseball mitt, another left-handed first baseman's glove. And this one was blonde, unblemished, brand new leather smelling new. Pretty obvious what had happened. The owner of the original glove had searched and waited and fretted until his dad, we'll say, went out and bought him a new one. But then Flash, who was beginning to earn his title, Retriever, went back to wherever he'd boosted that first glove and, finding its replacement, swiped it as well. Well, once again, good neighbors Bill and Letty asked around. And failing once again, they placed an ad in the paper. And when after weeks more, no one answered that ad, they sighed and gave the brand new first baseman's glove to their four-year-old boy as a toy. And that was that. Flash, the criminally inclined black lab, all on his own, he mended his errant ways. Never again brought anything home that was not his in the first place. It was as though his mission had been accomplished. For you see, Bill and Letty's youngster really liked those ill-gotten gifts. And he, naturally left-handed, proceeded to play with those very baseball gloves from the time he didn't know how, on through the times he finessed them as have few. In fact, he chose first base as a defensive position because of them. He would compete in the ultimate championships at every level of baseball he played. The Babe Ruth League, the American Legion, college, the Olympics and with the Major League Giants in the 1989 World Series. You know Bill and Letty's son, National League Golden Glove first baseman, Will Clark. But now you've met his dog, Flash, who the family insists pretty much stole first base for his young master. Only now, you know the rest of the story. <laughs>